maybe three or four weeks notice um, you might want to think about maybe stepping up your interval training um, maybe cutting um, a few bits and bobs out of your diet to make your your calorie deficit greater if you do want to lose you know like one two or three pounds or something to look, to look better for your shoe um, you want to make sure that if you haven't got any um, like tan or, any, or anything like that you need to go out and buy it because obviously in photographs and if you're getting filled but in photographs um, if you're really pale it you, you, you don't really show much definition so you want to make sure that you, you either book a tan or you, you buy a good tan and um, so you can apply that the night before your shoot. So. I think um, a lot of people seem to think that you can um, just get any old tan for a show day or for a photo shoot well really you need something really really deep and dark because if you're on stage the lights are bright so it, it kind of flattens everything and if you're um, if you're doing a photo shoot and you've got the flash and stuff you still want to look like you want to have definition so you need a really deep dark tan so I don't know a lot of people like to use Jan Tanner or um, I LA, use Jan Tanner yeah, yeah Jan Tanner or LA Pro Tan um, Pro Tan's quite good as well yeah Pro Tan's I good I mean, so those three good there's lots to try isn't there there's lots yeah. of different and the other good idea is to try it out for a week or two before the shoot so that you know how your skin's gonna react to it not like me and Mel last night we <laughs> <laughs> a tan on looked really dark and washed off in the morning and it all disappeared <laughs> you, if you're doing a photo shoot with somebody as well you want to make sure that your your Same tans color. match because you don't want one person that's Orange. really dark and then another person that's that's pale in comparison you want to make sure that that you match like this morning i was um, a fair bit darker than emma so i washed my my tan off a little bit just so we match because you don't you don't want in the photos for one person just to, to look different from the other. You want to yeah. kind of match so you complement each other. I always find just upping your water intake sometimes by an, an extra yeah. litre can really make a difference. Definitely. People get scared to drink so much water before a shoot or before a show because they think they're going to look bloated. And you will do when you go to bed you'll, and you'll be really uncomfortable. <laughs> but, you know, in the morning your body's kind of dispersed of it and you kind of get a more tighter look to your body so it's worth it thinking about doing that too yeah the more water that you that you drink um, the more your body knows that it doesn't need to hold on to water so the more you drink the more your body will just let go of as an amount of water to drink if you're if you're trying to get ready for a photo shoot or to look a bit leaner and a little bit tighter it depends really on how much the person drinks first like I drink yeah. three to four liters a day regardless so if I'm gonna try and drink um, more fluid for a photo shoot I'd probably up it to maybe five or six five. litres I'd probably go for five yeah but if someone only drinks maybe like a litre of water a day for them then to go on and try and drink five litres they, they might really struggle to get that water down so maybe up it to like from two litres from what you normally drink you're probably going to be doing it yourself so um, maybe look for um, some ideas of other shoots that you've seen that you like, get ideas of hair and makeup or maybe even ideas for like clothes and style that you want to wear um, that you can copy or kind of, you know, gives you a good idea what to do. Um, and I guess, I mean... Practice. <laughs> practice, just yeah. practice, practice, practice and try and get on as much makeup as you can. <laughs> yeah, as, as with your... Um as with your body under the lights, um, your your makeup's the same. So you don't you wouldn't want to wear makeup that you would wear in an everyday, you know, when you're going shopping or or even if you were going out on a Saturday night, you want to make your makeup um, a little bit darker because the flash of the camera seems to to wipe your your makeup away. Um, so you want when you're doing your makeup, practice applying it that little bit darker or that that little bit brighter than what you would normally wear it. So for me on, on a shoot day, I would have my breakfast, which is generally oats, and I would miss my shake out. Probably wouldn't drink water throughout the day so much, just on shoot day, because I find that I kind of bloat out quickly and easily on, on drinking like protein shakes and stuffing my face with carbs. So I just have the breakfast, get through most of the day, and then usually my lunch will be like a lunch that doesn't contain carbs. Like today was chicken stir fry, um, so I had that. Um, and then I kind of, keep off of the food and the water as much as possible really just until I've finished doing the shoot or doing the show if you do need to snack I guess things like um, rice cakes or oat cakes are okay um, but generally just try and get through the day without it it's only one day isn't it and then obviously as soon as the shoot's finished just refuel on all of the food that you're meant to have for that day I eat all of my meals um, the same do you what, yeah what well you more or less yeah well 
Dep- yeah, it does depend on what shoot it, it is. Does. Like if we're doing a workout that involves. If you're doing a workout, um, then, then you need, need to fuel to. yourself. Yeah. But if, but you're doing if like it's bikini. just yeah, if it's in a bikini, like my um, I I think I'm like you. If I drink a lot of water and I eat my meals, my stomach bloats out quite fast. So if I was doing more of um, a shoot in a bikini or or like a short top and shorts and stuff, maybe I would just um, cut my water down a little bit. Um, and maybe just have my meals but just little and often snack on them like not have all of yeah. my lunch in one yeah. go just snack on things um, just so that my stomach stays a little bit flat because I do tend to blow out quite fast I know I've done shoots when I've been too far out of show condition and look back at the pictures and been like oh I'm not really happy with those and then got kind of really down about it but you know it was my own fault for not being a bit more patient and waiting until I was ready I haven't really seen anything bad I do I mean, it's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of um, o- over bending over pictures. When you're com- when you're competing yeah. in the bikini category, I think a lot of people kind of get a bit confused between that and um, working in a sex shop. <laughs> so I think people <laughs> need to remember maybe don't in pictures and on stage don't maybe bend over so far and um, maybe don't have your legs so wide apart. I think mistakes people can make is. Um, not to practice with things first, so not to practice your hair, not to practice your makeup and not to practice your tan. Um, so the last thing you want to do in, in the morning of a shoot is be stressing that your tan has gone completely streaky because you forgot to exfoliate, you forgot to moisturise. Like with, with your tan, probably four or five days before you want to be exfoliating your skin so you haven't got any dry patches that your, your tan's going to stick to. You want to make sure you're moisturising your body properly. So when somebody hasn't done that and they apply tan, um, the tan can go streaky, it can go darker in certain areas um, and then therefore you know when you've got all these marks in the streaky tan for a photo shoot, I mean yes things can be photoshopped out but you don't want to be feeling uncomfortable um, during your shoot because you forgot to prepare for it with, with your skin. Um, obviously with your hair and makeup as well you don't want to be um, stressing on the day that your hair hasn't gone the way that you wanted it to because you didn't practice it enough or, or the same with your makeup you want to feel you know you're doing this photo shoot because you want to feel good about yourself so the last thing you want to do is fall at the last hurdle um, because you haven't just like practiced a few bits and bobs my top five tips for a photo shoot is number one maybe think of a theme get an idea of the clothes you want to wear so be prepared make sure you know exactly what you're doing with your hair and makeup um, Prepare properly with your tan. Make yep. sure that that you're, you you do do your exfoliating, Try you do your do your moisturising, and you practice with your tan because tans can go on one Make person um, differently to how they go on somebody else because it can all depend on the pH balance of your body. So you want to make sure that you you um, you pick a tan that doesn't make you go um, green because sometimes tans can make you go green. Um, that's three. So that's three. Yeah. So make sure you get the right tan and practice with it. Uh, four. Number four. Uh, the other tips would be um, to make sure that you are in the right condition before you do a shoot don't be too eager have patience and shoot when you know your body is looking good the nearer to maybe if you're doing a show maybe wait nearer to show time before you start thinking about booking a shoot even if you don't compete and you just want to do a shoot because you know it doesn't always have to be about competition if you want to do a shoot because you want to have those pictures for yourself um, in, in good condition well if you're doing that for yourself then make sure that you get your body in good enough um, condition in the first place so that, that the pictures come out well and you're you're kind of proud of yourself for the, the condition that you reached. And number five, I would say that um, enjoy your photo shoot because if you kind of feel a bit uncomfortable, that can come across in your photos. Yeah, um, relax and don't worry. So just relax. And You've done all the hard work, now yeah, it's fun bit. Enjoy exactly. it. You've done the hard work of the hair, the makeup, the tan, yeah. getting your body ready. Um, so just enjoy it. Have a good laugh with the photographer. Every photographer I've worked with, um, I've worked with uh, three or four. They're really approachable. They have a good laugh with you, and they they'll will give, give you, you direction. Yeah, they'll give you direction if you should need it. But yeah, just have fun and enjoy the whole experience.